Six. Nate, no period jokes. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> None of those tonight. We are back again. It's episode 176 of the Dad Bod Golf Pod. He warned you. He warned you. A very timely start recording uh, we just had. Uh, fired up to be here. Happy Monday. Uh, weekend's over. Let's get the week going. We're uh, proudly members of the Believe Podcast Network, the number one podcast network for professionals. And tonight's show and every show is brought to you by Bet Online. What was the horse? I mean, you could have had him. Uh, lucky is it? Lucky, lucky strike? strike. Lucky, lucky strike. strike. You could have the old got, cigarette. Great cigarette. You could have. <laughs> you could have got on Bet Online. Used your fifty percent bonus. If you put a hundred dollars in. You could have got fifty dollars back. You could have put all that on Lucky Strike, and I ain't doing that math. But you could have you know, won about you would have won about ten grand off one hundred fifty. One fifty times eighty is, is a substantial amount. That could have been you. Don't yeah. let it slip by again. Bet online is 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 chock full of lines of everything you could ever imagine you could Trump bet on. Right. Casino, everything. It's where the game starts. Check them out. Bet online. All right, man. I, I feel like tonight could be very extremely electric. Um, we, let's we, let's start off right now. Everybody's friends. Yeah, we're friends, and we love each other, and we're about to be very real. Yeah, this can, this is this is completely open and honest session of the Dad Bod Golf Pod, and we we may not text after this. Like this, could, the post hobnob. You might want to subscribe to YouTube because the post show hobnob. That the gloves could come even further off. It's going to be me in the car on the way to Kyle's house because inevitably he's going to say something so astronomically that, yeah. dumb that it's going to send me straight to his front door. I really hate that I have to get up early because I think me and Nate should pay a visit to Kyle later tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be there's a really good chance that you should lock your door and hide your wife and hide your kids. <laughs> Ripping everybody out here. No. Uh, so, all right. So this weekend. The Wells Fargo Classic. Yes. Not at Quail Hollow because of the President's Cup. They moved it to, I think, Potomac, Maryland. Uh, Potomac or what was mm-hmm. the name of the course? Something Potomac. like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's in Maryland. Uh, yeah. It is in Maryland. Not yeah. even close to North Carolina. Yeah. Not even close. Uh, cool. I did. I did. Fun fact of that course. Arnold Palmer played there once and had a hole in one on the same hole in back to back rounds. Just throw that out there. And there's, wow. some, there's actually some video out there of the second one. They recorded it because he hit the first one the day before, and he turned around and he hit another one on the same hole. Such a showman. About one eighty, about one eighty five, one eighty six. Buttered a five iron in there. One hopper stopper. Probably the one that's probably playing two hundred five now. And what was it like it. to watch golf in the fifties? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that damn old. Goodness yeah. gracious. Then uh, was 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 color just did it just blow your mind when it was back? In, I did got, have a black so and white when television you were on Noah's, growing up. When you were on Noah's Ark, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, so oh, what a burger! Oh, what a great choice! Yeah. Great yeah. choice, solid choice for today. Solid um, pro- day. Today. That was a little product placement. So, um, yeah. Wells Fargo Classic, Max it Homa is, wins. Hey, what a burger! Hit us up. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Hit us up. Let me, let me Send the check. <laughs> Honey butter biscuits for the winner. <laughs> Max Homa wins, becomes the fi- uh, fifth uh, multi-time winner of the season. Yep. Uh, I looked up that list. I was kind of shocked at who I was on that list. Um, run, run through it for me real quick. Okay, so you have I, – I, I don't have it up in front of me, but you I got, got it. it. It's uh, Scheffler in there with four wins, Burns, Sam Burns with two, Homa with two, Hideki has got two, and Cam Smith has two. Hideki Everybody. winning two, I, I don't remember those. But uh, it's so, the season, I honestly – not of the year, right? This, this for season. the 2022 season, yes. Yeah, so it started back in October. So I, I know he won the – did he win the Zozo? Mm-hmm. And then he's won another I don't know what else another. he won. When yeah. he won the what Zozo. What are going to do like, when he doesn't win the Zozo? What's that? Like, like will it, golf just end? When I think they, I think they stop the playing the tournament is what yeah. happens. No. Like no, so Max Homa wins. There was some carnage on Saturday. Um, crazy weather. I text y'all. I was like, what the heck is going on? Like – I think there was only like a, a five or six rounds under par. It was pretty much just absolute. Uh, yeah, Keegan sloppy. being one of those on Saturday. Yeah, sloppy, nasty. Um, Jason yeah. Day blew up. I mean, he was at 10 under at one point. Yeah, and uh, it, was, it. it was pretty crazy. Uh, Max Homa wins today. Um, Keegan Bradley uh, blew another 54-hole lead. Uh, how many was that, Ben? He has – He's got 14 blown. He's only got one win in 14 tries after 54 holes. Wow. He had the lead in 14 tries. And that one time was literally like the first. It only dated back to like his win nine years ago. Other than that, he's had 14. 
He said, yeah, he did have a win a long time ago. He said, yeah, he said 54 hole lead 14 times, and he's only got the one win to show. That's back when he got in a lot of trouble for just excessive spitting. Yes. Big, uh, big, um, Luke. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, I'm noticing. Spitter. Yeah, he's uh he he still does the he's still impossible to watch. He's a lot still, of saliva yeah. production from old. It people. is a it is a it's like watching double dutch. Like he's he can't decide when to go in yeah. on double dutch. He just That's he, ridiculous. <laughs> that guy who does golf impersonation swings has got him down to a science. Yes. Oh, there's the, the bounce and like the seventeen club twirls. Oh yeah, yeah. His cl- the little twirl though is even like, the walk away when he's guess. like leaning over, like hunched over when he's like walking away and still bobbing his head. Like when he walks away, it's unbelievable. How you do you ever think people like that? Like, how do they go to sleep? Like, no, oh, you're doing they... equations or something in your head. Like you're thinking, and your or your pillow can't get quite right. Like, what are you what are you doing? Yeah, and yeah, flipping the pillow over. Like sometimes, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exact pillow pillow pats or how how have you we never how, there's not got to be footage of him dropping the club after like doing one of those club twirl things like that's it goes so he fast did, and so he did because it was a rules question years ago because he did it in a bunker and they were asking if he grabbed it was before it was it was no. still illegal to ground your club whoa oh wow yeah there's did they throw him off the course no. <laughs> because you know did that he, is like he spit most, at any point during the ruling that it is, was I'll tell you what you it was one of those bunker, things right out of there yeah if i'm not mistaken at that time i think they considered like inadvertent because he hadn't addressed the ball and like he was walking behind the ball and, and just dropped it was no different than somebody else dropping their club in a hazard like it's not just imagine standing on the edge of a bunker looking down your your clubs laying in the bunker you know like, hey can i get a rules official <laughs> These were some of the worst bunker shots I have seen all season long. And I'm not going to get too far in depth. I told Kyle and Nate, because I did watch a lot of it uh, since I was hanging around the house. And uh, Homa did a great job of hanging on. Keegan blew it. Jason Day blew it. It was bad hanging weather. On is I liked great, it. Hanging on was the perfect description. Is what yeah. And so, uh, I mean, he played solid all rounds. Ricky finally had a top 10 finish. Top 25. Our top 25 finish. Yeah, and, uh, it's big. And could, we he had a would bet have about had a top that. 10 if he had made his birdie on 18. He had a like a five-footer for birdie on 18. Would have put him in the top 10 instead he, he left we did. I think we did have a bet on that. What something was about it? him being – something about him being in the top – I don't know, top 25 or Tiger winning a tournament, something, something like that. Yeah. Well, congrats, Ricky. Yeah, so that's I mean that is big. That is that that's big. He's at one twenty two in the FedEx Cup points, I think, is what I looked at. So I mean that's in the playoff talk. That's in the playoff picture. So yeah. right until he misses ten more cuts and goes to one. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of golf left to be played, but still, yeah. <laughs> but still, it's a good finish. You know who's getting a text tonight? Who's that? Smiley. No, nah. if, if I can do it, anybody can do it. If if, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Smiley. That's true. Spring break. You want me to put in a word for you since I'm in the top 125? Spring break 2K22. Yes. Let's go. Get the Snapchat going. Um, Yeah. So other than, that, it, other than that, nothing exciting during the tournament. Like it yeah, just wasn't. That, that course was not that appealing visually. I mean, you kind of look it was forward in the to Quell, forced. Yeah. You kind of look forward to Quell Hollow. And I don't um, like watching cold golf ex- unless it's the British Open when it's May. And they were all bundled up. Ball was not flying very far. No. Lift as Jack Nicholas would call it, lift clean and cheap, but they had to because the friggin' place was soaked the yeah. entire time. I did find it hilarious. The elements, I don't I guess we realize just because we're not good enough golfers with water on the ball and water on their club face, like how many times they came up short of the green because they just had no idea. They did the players. Play yeah, they did the players constantly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I've been to Quail Hollow once. My cousin graduated from a school up in charlotte uh, on a saturday so we went on sunday it was pretty cool because at her graduation on saturday there's the met life blimp basically right over her college so everybody's oh, like wow. hey, we're, getting, we're getting this thing recorded uh, yeah but yeah it was pretty cool yeah so obviously quail hollow is going to be the location of the president's cup and is it in october, september or october september they had september. a commercial running during the tournament september. man we should go we should go i mean it's not that far charlotte is a brand what, new baby let's do it seven hours i got a place for us to stay <laughs> You do? Okay, we're in. Got some family up there. Let's go. Okay, yep. we'll, we'll apply for press passes, and uh, we'll go look for Bobby Does Sports, and we will just heckle. That'll be great. That'll be great. Oh, he was he was so pissed, too. They're big Keegan guys. They're oh, yeah. He's, it's Keegan, Keegan Bradley Day. Kind of tough yeah. look for Keegan Bradley Day. Yeah, it really yeah. was. It I just – I don't know what happened to him. I mean, 14 times this guy's blown a 54-hole lead. <laughs> 
Yeah, that the Keegan look is just his look in general is just a bad look. But um, anyway, he does have uh, sweet shoes. I give him that. He does have a pretty good shoe game. All right, so uh, something happened in the tournament. I think it was on Friday. Um, I, we need to talk about it because it could go a bunch of different directions. Um, Sergio, who is not having a great year, but not having a terrible year on the PGA Tour, um, he's made close to a million dollars already. Uh, he has a line that I honestly think he was told to say. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say I think at some point really? in time, I think at some point in time this was something that was planned that he had to say to get caught on a mic. He you said, are such a conspiracy theorist. I am a conspiracy theorist. There, but there's no way this on the was planned. He said, "What does he say, Ben? What was the exact line?" He said, "He said, he I, said can't, I can't wait to get off this tour. I can't wait to Only get off this weeks. tour. Only yeah. a couple more weeks. Can't wait okay. to get out of here. Come on." Okay, there's a couple, there's a there's several different ways that we can go with this. Number one, the most obvious, go ahead. DP World Tour, he plays them both. He does. He does play both. So he could be talking about he's Double just going to play European Tour slash DP Tour the rest of the year. That's number one. Is he talking about the Saudi Tour? He's talking about Saudi Tour. Okay. His, tex his Texas bride does not want to go hang out on the DP World Tour. She'll go okay. hang out wherever the so, hell he tells her to. So, <laughs> so here's a takeaway. She, she did quit her job for him. She's probably right. Here's a takeaway that I don't think we're thinking that you're thinking about. Why would he say? Why would he say? Uh, this is, I only have a couple more weeks on this tour, if it's the DP tour. So basically, he he's confirming, in my opinion, he's confirming that. If he goes, if it's all about the deep, if it's all about the Dubai tour, the the Saudi tour. Um, if he's if he's going there and he's not and, he, and he's saying I only got a couple weeks left, he's confirming that there will be no back and forth. There will be no and I, and I know that we kind of have heard that that's not going to be a thing. But like for him to say I've only got a couple more weeks left on this tour, I, to me it's saying that's it. Once I go there, there's no, there's no coming back. You got, did, is that is that reading too much into it or, or what no? Because I think if you read into the interview from earlier in the week with Lee Westwood where he kind of alluded to the same thing yeah and he talked a bit and he was just all about the money he's like yeah, look i play money. this I, I play this game for I'm a money. general contractor that's, that's what said. i'm that's what i'm going to do yep. and so i'm an uh, independent it, contractor i mean that's but what it said. sounded like if he goes on that he's also not coming back to the pga yeah. tour this year um yeah. so i'm assuming yeah i'm kind of if serge was sergio saying that i think that that's like once he goes and i don't know if they've been told that by the pga tour they're like look once you go you're done here but they yeah. may have been told that. I, they, I think. I mean, I think they have. I mean, um, they have. I did find it interesting that the PGA Tour released an official statement, but also didn't give him a stroke back. Um, the research saying that the official was wrong, that the clock should not have started, and I did find all the comments underneath it on Twitter hilarious because they're like, "We don't give a shit about that." Let's address the conversation that he had with yeah. the guy. Let's talk about the con. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Number one, you didn't give him a stroke back, so there was no need in you releasing the statement just to say we're wrong. We're wrong. You still took a bogey on it. Sucks for you, but we were wrong. Number two, you didn't address the biggest issue out of the entire conversation that was had, which right. is can't wait to be done here in a couple of weeks. Nate, what do you think about it? It would be easier for me to believe that he's going there if I didn't hear about who's the Garrigus and Westwood maybe I don't know I guess yeah. it'd be easier to easier to, to be like okay yeah maybe they got some players because right now they just I mean they have handled this so poorly like the first publicly announced player was Robert Garrigus well like, do you know how many people were just cackling in the PGA Tour locker room when that came yeah. out okay okay like, I we haven't say, seen him on a tour event in three months I want to take months when you, I'm glad you said that because I want to. There's something that we uh, we hadn't we didn't discuss that had the, uh, a quote that came out a couple of weeks ago, or maybe it was it may have just been last week, um, and it was from Greg Norman. And again, this could be a lie. This could be him just completely telling a bald face lie. Okay, he said list. that he said that when Phil Mickelson said the things he said, and they came out that they got checks returned. Yes, they that players sent money back. They were so scared after the backlash that Phil Mickelson got mm -hmm. that they sent their money back, which makes me think there was some big names. There was some bigger names on that list. I agree. They sent their money all the way back. Like the, maybe the rumors about Bryson, uh, you know, Bryson sort of had the whole, 
I was in the tournament, then I was out of the tournament around the same time. Dustin Johnson was talking a lot about it. There were some big names that were that were rumored. Uh, and then when Phil said the things he said, and it came out, Greg Norman said, we got return checks. We got money sent back to our accounts. A guy saying, okay, that's intense. We're out. So, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't you know, at buy this that. point, I don't, I don't really buy what Greg Norman's selling. Like whenever he comes out and he makes statements, I don't, I mean, he's pissing everybody off. He's already pitched the open championship off um, because he said, yeah, I'm going to play, you know, in the open championship. They're like, I know you're not. Like you can't. They denied his his application. I didn't yeah, know you they, could do that. Well, they can't. It wasn't that they denied. He didn't meet the qualifications. Oh yeah. Um, how would he? What? How would he qualify? Yeah. What, I mean, I thought, thought if you won, you were you played for life. I thought you it was only get Masters. that. You only get that up until fifty. Because yeah, he and, did play, and he's over fifty, so somewhat he recently. Not, so he does not get to play in the. He's not. Well, how did Tom Watson in. get to play for so long? And Jack Nicholas, and how did those guys get? That's to play an automatic stuff? bid, but the bids had already been sent out, and Greg wasn't one of them. You see what I'm saying? Like it's still an invitation. Why still, isn't he an auto invitation? Every I don't know that. I don't. That's know. what they I don't know. That's, they didn't go into into detail, but as soon as he made that statement, the Open Championship immediately clarified and said, "No, we take ex golfers that have qualified, and then we take ex golfers that are invitees. And just because you won one of the previous ones, there's a qualification. Two. It's something like." Unless you've won it in the last twenty years, or you're, you're like ha, now we have to have, a now you have to win a Masters to get in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's you a, can never play there. <laughs> like they, like they said, they said I don't know why he said that because like they admitted they said it's only going to make him look bad because he is yeah. not quite like he's not on the list. He's not even an alternate on the list. Yep. So I want to make one quick statement about the tour, uh, about the comments, and then I want to kind of move on. Um, so, so I like. I've, I like the idea of this Saudi tour, a, a competing tour in general, because I think it could push the PGA tour to be even better. I like it. I like that idea. I, the, 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 the adversarial aspect of this makes me hope it fails. Like it, it's for Sergio to like the rules of golf are the rules of golf. Like I, I just don't see the Saudi tour being this like, beacon of lift clean in place and no shot clock and no, and no any no anything and and free drops and 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 all this kind of stuff like I, I just don't see the rules of golf being much different and all these people are getting pissed off about rules of golf like he's you gotta have there's a pace of play rule like i, I don't think you can go over to the saudi tour and just play like take as long as you want on, on a bunch of different shots so like all these comments where it's like super adversarial like the phil mickelson's comments are, are really aggravating um sergio like sergio you've played like trash this year and you've made a hunt a million dollars almost on the pga tour like come off it like what 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 are, what are why are we talking about this um if it was just a hey i want it like lee westwood i feel like lee westwood's handled it the best hey guys here's the deal i'm an independent independent contractor want i want money i'm gonna go where i can make the most money that's fine. I have two ex-wives and I need to go ahead and get some. That is so, that, that is fine with me. Like, yeah. I, regardless, if, if we draw the line, if, if we say, okay, if we say that um, you're not, if you accept money from bad people, where the hell do you draw that line? Oh, you can't because where there, do you draw that? There line? are bank rolls and and it, some of that that's the coming iPhones, out of the, I'm the, recording the, on a Mac right now. Yeah. Like uh, the shoes we wear. The all the the Peter Millar stuff that's made in Taiwan, like I mean, yeah. you ever drink Starbucks? Yeah, exactly. I don't know where that was good. What <laughs> help me out with that one, Nate? <laughs> you eat Chick Fil A? Oh, yeah. really? How do you feel about no, no. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm just saying, like, no, I completely, you? I, I'm, you're right. No, a I, sponsor, I, yeah. a sponsor. That's like when people give guys hell for getting a sponsor's exemption to get in a tournament. It's like, what is business? Who is gives yours? them hell? those guys yeah exactly. exactly like it's i don't care if somebody paid for him to be in the tournament cool whatever sponsored yeah. i mean by the way hey, speaking of like there was a there was a cool dollars. there was a cool um there was a cool exemption this week let me um let me pull it up it got a lot of well the, the one that the one that got me was the one that and i i kind of see where the players are coming from but when they were pissed at the time that tony romo got an exemption and i was like yeah. uh here's the thing guys the guy that paid for him to be in it's his money like sponsors exemptions are meant to work. bring notoriety to the tournament. Yes. That's yes. all they're meant for. They're, it's to get boots on the ground. 
quit yep. you know if you got a problem with it, call that sponsor directly and go hey here's my issue but don't publicly denounce them or shove they your problem do, up your ass yeah they, it's their money it. um by the way kyle i looked it up it says entry terms and conditions for the open stipulated champion must be 60 or under and won the championship in the previous 10 years to be exempt that remains the case for the 150th open and we have no plans for any additional exemptions so Tom Watson was 57, I think, wasn't he? Yeah. He was not so he was, 60. So he was right. still, so is Greg Norman over 60 now? He's 67. Did y'all know that? Holy cow. <laughs> he looks amazing for 67. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you look amazing. Yeah. He doesn't look 60, a day over 65. 67. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh yeah. So I, I I, the adversarial aspect of it, I don't get that. I don't really, I don't really understand that. And maybe that's the PGA Tour's fault for being like pissing these people off and being mm -hmm. so dumb about it, uh, and not just being like, go do what you got to do. Just make sure you play in X amount of events like they always do. I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't get the whole thing. Ton of money on the line. Let's go get, let's go get a piece of it. The the issue too that I have about the PGA Tour being pissed off about this whole this whole Saudi tour is like at the first of the year. They let DJ go and do those. And Tiger used to do it. Those those Dubai. Harold Varner won. Harold made Varner a won. Pile of money and won. Yeah. Like and they, I mean, like Tiger. That was the thing that everybody was like. Tiger would get paid like seven million just to go play in the tournament. That's before the tournament was even like before he even teed the ball up. He got seven yep. million bucks. Yeah. They didn't have a problem then, but now all of a sudden, if they're going to play in six of them, there's an issue. Yeah, no. I don't. I don't get it. The PGA Tour wants their cut, which maybe there's a, a small portion of an argument there but whatever well i don't think that like the the thing with tiger was never like a threat it's like okay there's one tournament in january when yeah right back when the pga tour didn't have a season in january he's gonna go play the event he's gonna come back i get it but all i'm saying know. is they they opened that gate to allow that to happen so don't get pissed now that they're gonna put six or seven tournaments together and make them yeah make them i play. think that's apples and oranges stuff i think that's apples and oranges stuff. i, I, mean, I, I think you're now you're seriously pulling away from you could pull away from it, it was events. the have your have your cake and eat it too with tiger playing in dubai in december but now it's like oh you want to take our cake and not let us eat it there yeah exactly <laughs> exactly I, I mean that was real <laughs> there you i could see both sides of the argument but that is a little just a tad a tad different you, you the, doing these uh tournaments in the summers mixing them in around majors and and things like that like it could get it could get squir squirrely some of these bigger events too um Moving along, before we get to the electric point of the, what I think is going to be an absolutely electric point of the show, show let's give a shout out to Primo Golf Apparel. Um, use coupon code DADPOD22, uh, take 15% off your, your next order and the next order after that and the next order after that. It's not just joggers, guys. You got, you got blade collar polos. Uh, they got some new prints on those dropping soon. So pay attention to that. I can't wait. Uh, to get them, we're going to make blade polos, blade collar polos, a thing too. Uh, woven belts, uh, awesome, uh, high quality golf towels, literally anything you can want. Primo has it. Uh, they could be your one stop shop. Primo Golf Apparel, check them out. Where joggers start. Yes. All right. So mm -hmm. we want to tackle some what we labeled, what Nate labeled issues in golf. So we want to take some ish, some quote unquote issues in golf, break them down, and and, and just see how we can make them better. Who's uh, guilty of 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 the whatever that said issue is, and just have some fun with it. So Nate had one. Um, we have like an average Joe section, and if we have time, we'll go to the professional golf section. So Nate, you kick it off. Let's start with the average Joe part of it. And, and talk about some of the big issues that you see, that we see in average Joe, everyday golf. And, and let's just talk about it. Let's talk about yeah. it. Yeah. So this is just, I, I feel like these are things that, um, that have a negative effect on the game just for, for the ev everyday golfer. Um, and these are, these are not surprises, not some crazy list. I just, I want us to have debate. I yep. want us to discuss and I want us to improve the game of golf. At the end of the day, yep. if we're not improving the game of the golf, and what the hell are we doing here? Okay. Yes. So we're going to start off with the 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 hot topic, the the gay marriage topic of of golf. Okay. okay. Just let's do highly it. controversial. Yeah. Um. And let's let's just dig right into sandbagging. And I know oh. Kyle has some things that he wants to say about this. Oh. Um. I'm sure that he is just taking the gloves off and he's going to go look at my gin and tell me everything that I'm doing wrong. Um. But sandbagging is an is an issue. In my opinion, 
the only thing that makes it um what's it the only thing that hasn't made it a huge issue is that so many people do it it's almost the standard now so yeah. it's not it, it's hard to get screwed unless you are the Kyle Rush of the world the yeah, uh, the goody two shoes plug in every single freaking score if he, if he plays one hole he'll figure out how to play plug to in play nine holes and putting hole. it in so yeah. anyway I, i'm going to give the floor to kyle because i'm sure he has some things like to say about this okay go ahead kyle i think there's two kinds of i put up three fingers i think there's two kinds of sandbagging <laughs> okay there's a the, and two one and b no so one uh there's just the ball like i don't put in all my scores or i'll put in uh only my bad scores or I'll put in incorrect scores. Uh, there's that type of first, there's that type of sandbagging. And then this is another type of sandbagging that I don't know a good answer of how to fix. When you have a two day tournament that does a second day Calcutta and you go out and you shoot a high score on the first round so that your team goes for a cheap amount in a Calcutta and then, uh, you go and shoot super low the next day so that you get the biggest return on investment. So that's the two different kinds. Uh, let's start with, let's start with, let's just call it handicap manipulation, handicap mm -hmm. manipulation. Okay. My stance is this. When you play around, you put it in period. You put it in, you follow the rules, you put it in because it's not about what number that the handicap is supposed to be your potential. What is your potential that you can shoot? Not what is the my most, what can I leverage, what number can I leverage the best so that I can win the next bet? It's, it's supposed to be, and if everybody did it, it'd be fine. But uh, yeah, I just, I think that the all, you should, I think you should just put in every score and you should put in every score that uh, you, sh that is uh, what you shoot, not a, um, Oh, that's not a that's not gonna one we're gonna input. Or oh, hey, the first time I ever Ben, I'm gonna have to call you out. The first time I ever played with you, you shot 76. You said I'm gonna have to put that in like an 81 <laughs> because you can't win. You can't win where I play if you if you have your handicap the right way. Uh, I just that's just that's just where I stand, guys. You, you put if it's nine holes, you know what it does? It'll combine nine holes. You can put in nine holes. Yeah. Two weeks later, you go play another nine holes. It'll combine your nine hole scores and it'll give you nine hole. Uh, it, it'll it'll add it up for you and, and spit it out. It refreshes every day now, not once, not on the first and the fifteenth, every single day. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I, I'm I'm probably hurt myself in dog fights and things like that. But my handicap is going to be the most meticulous, like to the dot of every time I ever play. It's not though. <clears throat> it's not to the dot every time you play. That's okay. the problem I have with your logic. Okay. What. How, why your handicap should be worse because you don't put in every shot because we don't roll everything out we don't play it down that's the true handicap that you should be playing with okay and so because okay. that's so the reason that's, shots why, that's, why, that's why that's why i've told you it, it is for me look at me i mean look at me when i shoot in the mid 70s but if if we're putting everything out i mean i'm i'm averaging 80 to 85 every time every time okay you shot 73 though, so right? And, I, and, there, there, yeah, and then like, I shot 87 the, a week later. There's two sides of that coin. So what's, okay. what's your, what's your point? It, I shot the, 87 but, but the thing, here's, here's the thing. Here's another thing, Ben, that you're not taking into account. On a course the with gin, wider fairways. The gin account, the gin system accounts for that. You cannot put in, you cannot it input. Does, it doesn't, it doesn't you account cannot for people. Input, you cannot not, input a score higher than double bogey on your gin. But it doesn't cannot. account for people that are not, not playing it down and not rolling it out. Yeah. What, what about what about a guy who only plays tournaments where they put the scores in for you? Uh, so he only plays state tournaments, only plays stuff that and you know only plays legitimate. Play it down, roll it out. Turn. He plays. That's, a, and, that's the. Th that's another. And then he thing. plays somebody like us who who has breakfast balls, who gets given four and five footers, who maybe has a partner who's picking clearly up. Clearly, y'all aren't putting enough scores in the gym because there's three labels you can have: home away and tournament and it weighs each one different it do you, weighs can, can you have a breakfast ball one can you have a we roll it i'm i do we have can you play in the this is the group where we put hands on it everywhere or this is a group we play preferred lies in the bunker you can't all i'm saying he's having to put with a dick putter man <laughs> like that's 
<laughs> that's, that's not even his butter. Okay, so when you're playing stupid games like like if you're playing a if you're playing games like that, it does you you obviously don't put it in. But like your everyday round, your everyday betting game, like you the thing the the gin accounts for the that not everybody is going to play tournament style like tournament style every single time. But the gin will account for that home away tournament. Uh, as long as you're not doing anything egregious like taking mulligans, it's going to be pretty damn close because, like I said, you cannot input. I can't go out there, and if I make an eight on a hole and I'm playing it how I'm supposed to play it, I I, I can't put in an eight. I got to put in a I got to put in whatever the double bogey is because based off of the handicap that I have, so it, it equates that it should be it should be within two or three shots you're not you're not giving yourself five six shots around then no like, but even two or three shot two or three strokes makes a huge difference especially no. in like a tournament getting flighted i think in my opinion i think it does i would i would say personally, what do you think about this ben what do you think about only entering one score in the year that you play a turn before you play a tournament <laughs> No, no, you can't do that. <laughs> and the thing is, is I, I knew a guy that did that because he was playing in a tournament. They were like, he did not. And that's another thing. I I understand that they got to make their money and, and all that. But if you don't belong to a club, does your guys' club keep up with your – does it in, no, in your dues? Um, oh, yeah. Well, well, we have access to the – that's how we get our gym system. Out, but, but you put it all in yourself. In. I think there's a basket. I think there's a basket at the club where you can go turn your cards in. Yeah, I used older to plug guys, scores in when I worked there. Yeah. And they'll plug your scores in. Yeah. But uh, for the most part, with the app now, you just kind of input your scores. Hell, yeah. you can input it now uh, hole by hole. Like, you could yeah. do it live. Yeah, it's yeah. actually a great idea to do for your home course because it keeps track of your stats. Stats, everything. Yeah, I will say, because, like, I, the only reason I say that is because I've, I've got some buddies that they play random. They don't – they don't – they're not going to pay. They just don't want to pay for the – they're they're cheap. They just don't want to pay for the GIN membership that they've got. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They don't want to pay that, which is kind of odd. And then it sucks because they get stuck. Like when you ask them to play in a tournament and it's like, I need your handicap. And it's like, oh, okay. Oh, it's, I'm you know, it's, a, it's a about a such and such. It's like, nope. But they, What's they, the gen they, app? Like yeah. they want to know what, yeah, they, they're going to look you up in like in the gen. So you, you this is the type of tournament that we're playing. So then they pay the 35 bucks and they put 15 scores in. Yeah. And it's My like, dad. you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> My dad almost told me to told almost told my club to go screw themselves one time because uh we're we're high and mighty over the gin using the gin system because he's a member of this it's it's a municipal course with a with a men's golf association membership and mm -hmm. their their guy was trying to save a few bucks so they got like this this like sam's club uh handicap system that you put your <laughs> stuff in and so like he's trying to play in the member guest with me so his member guest right now, his gin is under Auburn University Club. It's not under awesome. his club because his club doesn't do it. So he's like, I just don't worry. I don't get why they're so I gotta do the gin system. It's a handicap's a handicap. And it's like, well, they just want to be able to say, Hey, here's my number. I look it up. It's easy. I plug it in. I don't gotta go do this golf Alabama, whatever handicap system. It's uh it's it's it was, that was a whole funny thing. Before but, uh, I'm like Nate though, I think somehow it works its way out a little bit. The only time that I don't like it is when it's super egregious. I played in a member member tournament at Moore's Mill. This was years ago. And the guys we got paired like the guy that I was playing with was legit and at, like a 25, which you can't be, but he was legit that. Like he was he was bad. And so these two guys that played in the flight with us, they did the, you know, you play like the um nine holes of one group the nine holes of another group or whatever the nine holes we played with these two guys the one guy had four birdies by himself and then they went ahead they had eight birdies in nine holes and i was like there's good. no chance that me and my partner need to be playing with these two guys because this <laughs> the guy i'm playing with ain't gonna he ain't gonna sniff a birdie like he's there to give me a read that maybe i can make a putt like that's why he's there there's no there's no perfect system i mean every at every member guest there's going to be a guy like i was i'm a i'm a five or a six and i played out of my mind for nine holes of one of the the matches at member guests and the guys are like, oh no, you got a nice six and you made two birdies <laughs> like, what do you want me to be as a six do you want me to make a bogey on every hole is that what sixes do but anyway the, the other thing i was going to say is that <laughs> there's a tournament at indian pines local municipal course here and it's flighted after the first day 
And if you are 10 strokes or more better from the first day to the second day, that's it. You're disqualified. You just should be. That's it. You're just they should They should done. beat your ass in the parking lot. I don't have a, I don't yeah, have and, a problem and, and with it's that. Not, like every once in a while, somebody's going to have a bad day and then have a good day, but you can't, you've got to protect the field. And there was a guy who did it, shot like 84, 70. And yeah, they actually, they, Throw they him actually out of the tried county. to hang him. Yeah, uh, they the cops showed up, but they did they they should tried have. to string him up. You should have been executed on site, yeah. sir. Because oh. that is go ahead. That's that's say? big money, man. That's I mean, Kyle's talked yeah. about the a particular Calcutta he's a part of and thousands like, if, of dollars. If somebody, tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, tens of thousands. Well, even more than that. I mean, like if you do this at Vegas, they will you'll you'll be disappear you'll disappear from the, the earth like there's yeah, a damn you, scared like out in you. vegas like they're so scared out there like they legit they're gonna be super pissed off if they don't shoot like the same score in day two that they did day one like they're getting nervous like even if they're right. having a bad you day, beat it by like, like, two shots they're like yeah. hey you counting cards yeah you better kill yeah. it the first day and then yeah. hope you're far enough ahead yeah also yeah. speaking of the uh walmart uh gin system my dad's been using the same website for like 20 years to plug in his scores mm-hmm. and he plugs in all his stats all his sands saves Green's regulation puts. He's got like fourteen hundred rounds worth of stats. Like he can just quote you. Like well, I mean, I'm 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 hitting fifty four percent of greens over the last twelve years. <laughs> is it the grint? Ca- it uh, might be. It's got like a little golfer, but like the the grass. It, it, it is the grint. It is the grint. Hasn't changed. Colonel Steve, big grint guy. He, and I can tell Colonel Steve is a meticulous. I put my scores in correctly every single time. Yeah, because me- Colonel Steve came from a place where if you don't do things right, you die. <laughs> That was his job. Hey, you this comparing like yourself to Colonel man, Steve like, is like so this is the far. Only, I don't do my don't job, do people die. This is, the, this is the only place I think I can possibly have a lot in common with Colonel Steve is handicap, keeping your handicap up. Good yeah. night. No, I just my, no, I'm I'm mostly I'm mostly kidding, but I do think if you I do think regardless of the rules you play, the more consistent rounds that you put in, the closer it's actually going to be to reality of like but your in- potential. Until we start understanding handicaps as a way to level the playing fields instead of something that you leverage against everybody, it's like paying people in college football. Like everybody's doing it. If you don't do it the way everybody else is doing it, you're going to get left behind. Yeah, they're going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying I, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying like I think you handicaps gotta be, are like a way of taking you know you advantage gotta have? of somebody. You got to have an enforcer in every yeah. club. You that's need right. to have a club guy that's an you would enforcer. be great at that. That, no, I wouldn't because I'm not no. intimidating. I'm not That's intimidating. Like, hey, bud, uh, did you plug in that school? Yeah, I'm, I'm a nice to. guy. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. I'm a nice guy, and I'm not intimidating whatsoever. So um, I'll just talk about you on my podcast is what I'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Behind your back. So, Nate, uh, you'll appreciate you, this. You had you had your story. So I got the clubhouse called on me during a round of golf one time. Yeah. Um, because at this club – well, I'll just say the club because I'm not a member there anymore. Moore's Mill Club, it was like you guys were just talking about. Like, you didn't – have a, this was, you know, Nate was talking about how old I was. You didn't have access to the, the you know, the again or whatever. You had to, like, turn your card in at the end of the round, sign it, and they would put it in for you. Yeah. And they kept a book over there that had, like, a running list. But I'm not a guy that would just go check the list every day before I went to go play to see what my handicap was. Yeah. And so we get ready to go play with this other guy that is a acquaintance of, like, my wife knows him through work. His name will – he'll remain nameless – um, and so he wants to bet after we play about four or five holes, he wants to bet. And I was like, okay, so well, then we make the turn, uh, at Eagle 10, a birdie 11, a birdie 12, a birdie 13, and then birdie 14. And he called the clubhouse and he was like, you're not an eight, you're a 7.2. The bet is off. And I was like, okay, bro, you're getting your ass handed to you anyway. It doesn't matter if I'm a 15 right now. Like, <laughs> even wow. a stroke on every halt but yeah he called the clubhouse and like he left he got pissed he like left you know because i because i was rounded off. up ben <laughs> <laughs> apparently i did you rounded yeah, but up. You did, yeah but 0. 0.5 is the only time you can round up if it's 0. 0.4 or lower ben you know how yeah. math works buddy i should have told him i should have told him a seven either that or maybe he shouldn't have had some i would just love for him to be like two. okay just want to double check hey 7.2. He did. That's exactly yeah, what buddy. he did. Let's adjust. That's Let's exactly adjust right what now. he did. So guess what? You're only getting a half a shot on this hole. Yeah. Bitch. Unbelievable. The only so. time – here's the only time I will give you leeway. Here's the only time I'll give you leeway. Scrambles. No, not no. scrambles. Let's say it's the week of a tournament. Okay? So, like, this this week is – this week is – 
not this coming weekend, but next Sunday is the last rounds of golf on our course before it gets shut down. And they start redoing everything. It's the member member tournament. So if I go out and I were to fire like a 70, like if I fire off an even par, I probably will hold that till the next week. That's this pretty much the only time I'll ever do it. Pretty much the only time I'll ever do it. You are towing a very fine line there, bud. You are so hypocritical. That's the only time I probably ever will do it. Literally every single round of golf I've played this year is live. So just just Um, saying. All right, I'm going to transition to the next one. Let's go. Transition. And I'm I'm wondering if maybe what you just said is causing this. All right. Um, And he's not ready for this. But I don't know if maybe it's logging your scores makes you the slowest player in Lee County, Kyle. I'm slow. He you is are not the slowest in you Lee are County. Painfully I've played with no slow way. to play no. behind. I, okay, I, I, play behind. I would, I would, but like you, I, when I play with you, I don't notice it. But <sighs> are you sure it was me in the group? Because I noticed something about someone just, else. I, I, either that slow. or you play with slow people. Okay, I noticed I noticed something about somebody else in that group that same day that you're talking about. That's pretty dang slow. I can tell you have, one that it was. I'm, was I'm group. talking about the flag is in the hole and there's an astronomical amount of time between the flag going back in the hole until the cards pull away. I mean, mm. painful. And it's me that's the culprit. I, you were in the group. Okay, it's, I'm just I, saying. I don't, I don't think – okay, first of all – this is recency this, bias because I just played behind you, and yes, we had three, and you had four. It was three and a four. But I think so. there's been another time I played behind you, and, and it was like, you're it's, a grinder. You're a grinder. You Nothing know what? You know what? It is – I guess the common denominator would be me, but I just don't think I'm a slow player. You're I, not. And I, now, I will say that compared to, like – I me, don't – let me tell you what I don't do. I don't I do am, Go ahead. I, I, like, play, like, stupid fast. Like, I could probably gain a lot from slowing down. So, I mean, I guess I feel like anybody who's not, like, almost running is playing yeah. slow. But Now, I will I will look for a ball. So, that that's, that, that is something don't, I'll probably – Don't have an issue there. Okay. I don't – I rarely take a practice swing. I rarely take a practice swing. I do not use the line on my ball to putt with. It is a complete feel, direction, putt. I, I don't do a lot. I don't really do a lot of stuff that would subscribe myself to be a slow player. So, I, I – I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that I, we didn't hold you up, but I can. I, I'm almost willing to bet money that wasn't me. But I did notice something. I will dress later <laughs> that uh, I did notice for the first time about someone, and I and we'll we'll talk about this later. But I agree, slow play at, at golf clubs is an issue, and I think I have a solution. I think I have a solution. I think you should have, uh, you should have a club wide vote of a handicap cutoff and then there should be a tee time variation like certain tee times uh certain uh tee time the better golfers tee off at a certain block and then the the other golfers tee off at at another block and then if uh if you want to flip flop you have to just go ahead and know hey when i tee off at this certain time i know it's going to be a slow it's probably going to be a slow round that's what that, that I think that's one of the only ways that you can. You Here's can, a better solution. Hit it. Oh, you just drive around right. and you tell you. So one of the pros drives around and say, you got to pick up the pace, Bubba. This how is do you pick? How do you pick up the pace? Well, no, no, no. But you that's don't the have, question. Not, not picking up the pace. Like at some point, you have to actually start making people. But hey, you you you're it. you're out of position. You have to pick up. You don't get to finish this hole. Yeah. If, telling the marshals who tell people to pick up the pace are like, I don't even know how to how to compare it's like telling kids not to run at the pool like they're gonna yeah. run but you have to like okay guess what you don't get to finish the hole everybody pick up their balls and move to the next tee box. box if you don't you can leave you got to leave the golf course but we don't do that we don't enforce we just have a marshal our marshal slows down play more than he yeah. speeds it up because he wants to yeah, hang out and I, shoot shit with everybody you know because i i play um uh, rtj what about the drink girl i've seen uh, well, the, the yeah. girls slow play can slow yes. play way down Oh, I've said that before. Like when you're already playing behind a slow group and you see the cargo coming, you're like, oh shit, here we go with this. I like, just now, I think now it's, it's gonna get so I think much worse. You just have to start being conscious of of just playing fat like golf is you get to hang out, you get to talk, you get to ride in the cart, you're on the green. There's no reason to lollygag playing golf. I, and and there's, there's I will I'm, say I'm that there's you, I know where you're I, Okay. Oh, I I the, I could pick a five some right now of guys I play with every week, and I could include Kyle on this one. I think five guys, and you give us a wide open golf course, 
we're, we're scared in three hours. Oh, and yeah. it's not hard to do. No. And I'm we're not you. all pros. I'm talking, I mean, you. we're all single digit to 12 handicappers. I'm with you. And it, it, it should be possible. I'm you should you. be able to play nine holes in an hour and a half, and you should be able to play 18 holes in three hours and 15 minutes. You, four it's hours just, is ludicrous. Four hours. I understand be, on a Saturday when it's super crowded, sometimes there's just nothing you can 